Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you. Unfortunately, this is not going to be my last 10.8 video or the last, previous video wasn't the last one. I expected a new update this weekend, but it seems like they're going to just wait for um, 10.8.9. Oh wait, sorry. 10.9, sorry. Um, there we go. We're going to do... It still thinks the GPS is off. It actually is currently on right now. Oh, poor weather. It's not going to do it. This is like, so last time I went out in the rain, I actually didn't record it. It's not, it's not gonna, uh, it didn't disengage. It disengaged once when it got pretty heavy, the rain. Um, oh, and of course I can't override the speed, so I'll just use my foot. So speaking of this, with the clearly this is a current limitation, uh, purposeful limitation. And um, coming back the other day, I didn't record this, but my right B pillar camera said it was like blocked or clogged or something. Um, and so we're actually going straight here. We don't want to take that route, so this works out. But yeah, my B pillar camera was um, clogged up. Oh. The speed limit changes back to 25. It's a 40. Look, it's a 45 mile an hour road. It doesn't just magically turn to 25 mile an hour uh, in the underneath the freeway there. That doesn't make any sense. So fortunately, we got full self driving back. Let's we'll see how it does here on this uh, these curvy roads with rain. Um, so yeah, what I was saying, the B pillar camera was all blocked. Uh, said it was blocked, and it disabled lane changes on navigating autopilot. Now, I don't recall if I've ever had that for full self-driving, but on Navigant Autopilot, it definitely happened. Um, as you might notice, I have new wipers now. Uh, so those are cleaning uh, much better. I still need to clean the windshield. It looks like it's still something, some type of residue on it. So I definitely need to clean that uh, still. Uh, another side note is I changed my winter tires. Uh, we finally got cold weather here. Like I got down into the 20s. Uh, poor weather detected. See, right now it says poor weather detected, but it's still working. So for whatever reason, I'm gonna put this in full screen mode so you can see more of it, see it easier. Um, but yeah, so I wonder like how full self driving can recognize different tire types because uh, it can already recognize when you're low on tread life. They can recognize that based on the revolutions, uh, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing. I don't know why it's really simple, but it seems it seems kind of kind of magical. It tried to turn there, and this is wrong. Right here is the correct turn, and it's trying to stop again for this yield. Yeah. So, so someone had made a comment that the dirty Tesla Chris from that dirty Tesla said that Tesla hard coded yields. That's what it actually seems like. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Um, but yeah, any yield sign right now will act as a stop sign. It must be someone, they must have been something, a bad scenario that's happened. Ooh, we got a big puddle over here. I don't know if I want to go through that. Okay, well, going down really slow works. Um, normally, I would have avoided that. So actually, we're gonna press the camera button right there. Um, normally, I would want to avoid that puddle but it didn't, <laughs> so obviously it doesn't recognize puddles yet. I think that's not something that's gonna happen this year. Like, normal driving is gonna get really good this year. <laughs> like, stuff like that, I hope, will be resolved. Like, normal stay in the lines, go around traffic, the, like, normal everyday driving is gonna get really good. Um, but it's still gonna have, there's all those little edge cases that you don't see very often, like that large puddle of water. You, I mean, that's common enough, but you don't really see it that often. Like, and it's different on every spot. It looks different. Like, that's a, that was a big puddle that took up half the road. Usually you have puddles that are only like a foot wide on the side of the road, you can kind of want to give a little bit of room. In this case, you might have actually had to gone on the other side of the yellow line to dodge that puddle. So, or I, if there's an oncoming call, or obviously you can't go on the other side of the road, you're gonna have to slow down enough so the puddle doesn't damage your car, or you don't hydroplane for that matter. Uh, so that type of stuff is um, 
critically important. My guess is Elon says level four by the end of 2022. Let's be honest, it's not going to happen. Maybe next year. Maybe. It depends on the rate of progress. They've had really good progress um, in the last year. It's hard, I think, for a lot of people to tell that haven't had the beta since last year. And I can tell, I can assure you, the beta, it is substantially better than it was last year. Substantially better uh, than it was uh, last year. In terms of like, overall smoothness and all that stuff is the biggest thing. Routing better. Um, I'm hoping V11 does some work on routing. It just, there's still issues where it turns the blinker on for around curves, it gets in the wrong lane. That, that's, I think, what is holding us back from making this, like, really quite incredible. The smoothness in 10.8 has been awesome. Um, probably some of the best. And knock on some wood, we got some, is real wood. <laughs> um, I suspect, um, Phantom Breaking is pretty, it's like 90% gone in this build. It's, it's been pretty good. I still get Phantom Breaking, no doubt. But it's mostly gone. And so, really, really happy about that. As I say, we just Phantom Break. <laughs> um, but yeah. And we have map data. It's no longer 55 mile an hour on this road. It is a 45 on this road all the way through. And then it goes down to 40 actually uh, in a later spot. It's just, um, we can't be going 55 because there are police cars that do watch on this road, so it's not, not good to do that. Right there, some place that really should have gave room. I, I just felt safe enough to let it stay without disengaging, but, ooh, um, that one was, uh, you can tell the road was about to collapse. Uh, that that's the type of stuff as a human you see that and like oh the road the dirt is falling away on the side of the road we should um get as far left as we can possibly get uh, without um and then feel safe to make sure you know if it does collapse and that it can happen if it does collapse as your car is going around it your car is not going to fall into a pit uh, so stuff like that uh, I, I don't think it's going to happen for several years. Like, we might have really good self-driving on 90% of roads, but then you have that type of stuff that has all these edge cases. Uh, you like the puddles, and then you have um, potholes, and things that look like they're going to sink in like if you drive over them. Just to, like, all that stuff is going to take a lot of work. I, I really don't think Elon is factoring in those things for like full self-driving. Like, there's no way level 4 like can happen anywhere but heavily very heavily geofenced cities the only time that if that level four level four um see we went up to 55 again and the speed limit is 40 right here um anyways heavily geofenced level uh, to make level four happen this year uh there's zero chance level four is gonna that was a disengagement it went too far to the left uh, on that side of the road there. And why is it breaking? This isn't a, like a massive turn right here. I don't know why it was breaking right there. Okay, so I'm pressed the accelerator here. It can definitely go quicker. Also, I'm I just trying out auto on on the HVAC. Uh, for a heat seat heater, no, I don't like that. It got it got too hot. I'm gonna press the accelerator a little bit more. Like it can, it can go faster around this curve. This person behind me is tailgating me. Um, they're trying to have some fun. And it really isn't fast. Like 40 is like a good, solid, comfortable speed. Um, right here. It really is. Like, it's trying to break right here. I'm like, it doesn't need to break right here. Like, I could go 50 around this before I started feeling fast. Um, and I'm gonna actually up it a little bit. Just so it doesn't slow down as much. Now, this comes down to personal preference. I don't know. For me, I'm pretty comfortable going around curves at higher speeds. 
But you get someone from like Indiana that comes down here, or like anywhere that has straight flat roads, um, then it very well could, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, they could not like going around curves very fast, and they might prefer to go slow around curves. And so that's going to be like the weird average point, like no one's going to be happy. Like I want it to go faster, and you got someone from Florida or someone from out, like out west that's all, all flat and no curves. And like then they're going to be like, oh, I, I want it to go slower because I don't feel comfortable at these speeds. Uh, which, I mean, I guess you could always just manually slow it down. Um, if it's not going fast enough, you can like lower your set top speed. Uh, it's just easier than raising the top speed because if I race this to 50, like back at the straight road, they go 50 around these curves um, on a lot of these would not, especially in the rain, would not be safe. Um, they go 40, 45, totally safe. Very smooth. And it just like floors it getting onto the highway here. Like almost so, I think it om almost lost traction uh, at the beginning. Like it's like full acceleration. I don't know why. This is really is too fast for acceleration. Like there's zero reason it needs to accelerate full power to get on on the on ramp. Changing lanes to power out. I don't understand why it changed lanes. Um, but navigating autopilot is not gonna let me. Change lane, so we're gonna have to probably disengage to get off the highway. Yep. Let's see if it's gonna convert back to full self driving here. Yeah, see how normal autopilot lowers the speed when you actually lower the speed? Like, it is very comfortable deacceleration. That's exactly what full self-driving needs to do. And it's so frustrating that it doesn't do it. And my only theory of, as to why... It's not going to turn because you're not full self-driving, unfortunately. But... Yeah, um, one disengagement technically, three if you want to count it, it's like, regardless, it didn't, it wasn't perfect. Um, yeah, um, I think it did well in the rain, and it did well around the curves. It still has a few curves that it needs to do better on, uh, for sure. But otherwise, I think there's nothing wrong with this. Um, it's improving going forward. It's smoother and smoother, every version. There's big things coming for version 11. That's what Elon says, they, what, what we all hope. Um, version 9 and version 10 had small incremental improvements. I think the main thing with version 11 will be highway. Unfortunately, there's a lot of routes we can test highway on. Uh, so yeah, I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.